Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use JSBin to test um, AJAX requests. Now, the thing about an AJAX request is that you, uh, well, by default, you can't do a cross origin request. So, you want to set up a little example, you want to send the URL to a colleague and have it debugged. But the problem is, um, uh, your, your AJAX responder doesn't exist on JSBin. So, this is a screencast to show you how to achieve that. So here's a simple bit of markup in um, JavaScript. So I'm using jQuery. Do a little AJAX request. We don't know what the URL is just yet. I'm saying it's JSON output, and I'm taking the uh, the data object and setting the username and the day to these uh, these two spans. So it says, hello, uh, Remy, you last logged in on Thursday. So what do we do with this URL? It's very simple, actually. So we go to JSBin, create a new JSBin. Um, now, you might have noticed this in the past. If you uh, put some JavaScript in here, so let's do uh, alert foo. Now, when I render it, it runs the JavaScript and the HTML together. It puts them together. But if I don't have any HTML in there, I get rid of all of that and then render it. It actually shows me the output of the JavaScript. And it's showing me the JavaScript file for um, that URL because there's no HTML, so it generates a uh, JavaScript file. Which means that if I... Uh, add a bit of uh, JavaScript, so or make it JSON um, username. Uh, let's say rem and the day property, which is the in the AJAX request we're looking at two properties: username and day. I'm going to say Friday was the last day I logged in. If I just hit save, I've now got this just bit of JSON. If I go to this URL, I've got the output right there. Um, now, if I just want to see the uh, source JavaScript of any JS bin that I've saved in the past, I can just do slash JS and it'll give me the raw JavaScript. Um, that's just something that's built into uh, JS bin. Um, it's sending the right header in this case as well. It's saying that it's actually um, JavaScript. So if I copy that URL and put it into my first uh, JS bin, you can see already over here. It's made the AJAX request live. It's made an AJAX request to my dummy AJAX responder, and it's plugged in the content. So it says, hi, Rem. I see the last time you logged in was Friday. So very simple way of doing uh, testing AJAX. So what I would do in um, a test environment where I'm trying to debug what, what's going on, I would put my anticipated output from the JSON request into this, this second URL, save it, and then in my main test window, I just point it to that JS bin URL that I saved, put slash JavaScript at the end just so that I make sure that the right header is being sent, and I'm able to uh, just test some basic AJAX requests. So that's how to do um, AJAX testing with JS bin. It also it hopefully explains why uh, when you get rid of the HTML, it actually outputs the uh, JavaScript. So you can do external includes, you can create uh, AJAX tests, um, you could do that for any number of JS bins. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful for some of you.